Chef Sheila. In this cooking video, I will teach you how to make ceviche. And to make it more exciting, I'm going to use lime, apple cider vinegar, and Greek yogurt. There are tips that you need to follow in making ceviche. The best fish that works for ceviche is a semi-firm white flesh ocean fish like this blue marlin that I bought from the market this morning. It's also important to ask your fishmonger to give you great sushi fish quality. Even though you will cook this in lemon or vinegar, it's still best to use great quality ingredients. So when you get your fish home from the market, put it over ice and store it in the fridge until you're ready to use it. It keeps the fish fresh and you're gonna have a better tasting ceviche when you serve it. Also, make the ceviche the same day you buy the fish. Don't forget to remove the bloodline of the fish as it will give you unpleasant taste and really fishy flavor. One more important tip, cut the fish into large and even chunks so they marinate evenly. So I finished cutting our blue marlin. Instead of using cane vinegar, I'm going to use unfiltered and not pasteurized apple cider vinegar. I love apple cider vinegar because it has a mild flavor and the acid level is not that strong. This is best used for both health and cooking purposes. Let's start marinating our blue marlin. I'm using about half cup of apple cider vinegar. Give it a good stir. And we're going to marinate this for three minutes. It's just like washing the fish. So just give it a good stir. We're going to drain the vinegar from the fish. Using another clean bowl, I'm gonna put back the fish. So I'm adding the remaining vinegar. Just give it a good stir again. And we're going to marinate our ceviche for seven to 10 minutes. While waiting for the blue marlin, let's work with our remaining ingredients. I have Greek yogurt here, lime zest, juice of lime, chopped garlic, sliced red onions, I'm going to reserve some later for our garnish. Chopped coriander and ginger. Lots of ginger. Ginger is the key ingredient of ceviche. And sliced red chili. I just put two pieces of red chili. If you want it spicier, you can add more. So give it a good stir. going to check with our blue marlin. So I've been marinating this for I think 10 minutes. As you can see it turns an opaque color and the blue marlin is ready. So let's drain the vinegar again from the fish. Shake the strainer really well to drain the vinegar. I'm going to add the blue marlin to the yogurt mixture. Stir them together to so make sure everything is well blended. Season it really well with salt. Stir it really well. Just continue stirring. Season it one more time to make sure the salt is evenly spread. Freshly ground black pepper. Before I put my ceviche into a serving dish, I'm going to check my seasoning first. Mm, perfect. Why did I add yogurt in my ceviche? The yogurt cuts the vinegary taste and balances the tart flavor in this dish. And also, yogurt makes this ceviche light and refreshing. This is our lovely blue marlin ceviche. I made this many times and this has been one of my favorite recipes that I enjoy eating. So before I share it with you, 
you, you, I'm gonna have some for myself. Mmm, the flavors are so fresh, clean, and refreshing. The fish is nicely firm on the outside, but still tender and moist in the interior. Hope you enjoy my recipe, and see you again on my next cooking video. Don't forget to share the love, share the recipe on Instagram and Facebook.